I had to put on yeah. a new T-shirt due to a uh, baby. Uh, so uh, I didn't want to come and go live on enough. baby jewels all the way along. Indeed. So welcome world. Welcome. We welcome from the world. Welcome. in, yeah. Yeah, I went and changed my shirt as well, Alex, because I just had a roast dinner. Yeah, oh, what was on the menu? Uh, roast pork, roast tatties, gravy. Tatties. Tatties. Sounds like what a solid dinner. Yeah. What did you think? <laughs> it was lovely. Don't watch it. What? I haven't I watched, watched it. I watched only the first half. It was, it was not bad, a bit boring, but. Yeah, I'm just, just not interested. Oh, I need to switch off. Hi, Richard. My other stuff. Whiskey Review UK. Hi, all. What's your real name, Whiskey Review UK? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Megan. Oh, oh happy yes. Father's Day. Yeah. Happy Father's Day. I Indeed. think it was Henry who mentioned, I don't know if you're watching it, Henry. I think it's his first Father's Day. Oh, so he nice. treated himself. So if we get him on, uh, on if he mentions anything, we'll give him a shout out. Indeed. He bought himself a bottle of whiskey, did he? He treated himself. No, he, he joined us on the on the tasting. All oh, right, okay. No, don't you? I I got uh, my missus to buy me a bottle of whiskey for my son's first birthday, so <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> Good for you. Very contrived. No, I listen. Thought, I have to I put a lot of women that are supposed to do this. Yeah, <laughs> it's the modern era. <laughs> Indeed, that would be. Right, very good. Welcome everybody, one and all. Mm. Task Explorers, new name. We did you didn't get the new packaging yet, you'll get that next month. Yeah, that's that's but, um, really sleek. It's very nice. Yeah, we should fit through the letter. But I love the new labels. Mm, yeah. They're good. Very Indeed. cool. Hi Jackson. A little I was thinking to dress up a little bit like Sherlock Holmes, but ah, I hi, thought it'd be a bit much. <laughs> Maybe just a tiny Yeah, and I think I think I'm not allowed to smoke indoors anymore, so <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So we're going to taste some whiskey. Yeah, I'm really intrigued got, by number three. Look at that color. We've got four drams to try. What color? What color? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what color is <laughs> number three? Yeah, we've, we've had that before, and it's been a you know a surprisingly big hit of flavor. So yeah. I wouldn't just write it off just yet. No. Nope. Nope. Right. Okay. Well, let me say we've got four drams to try. And then we got a little bonus dram this, this week, which is uh, a little gift from Glenda, the Infinity Bottle, which you can't see because it's out of shot. I had because... to compete. I've been bullied out of the screen. It so was a really in shot, but Alex decided that he wanted more screen space and that Glenda, the Infinity Bottle, was going to have to be uh, outside. But maybe when we get to hang up, when we get to Glenda and her little slot, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll adjust we'll, the camera. I'll give up some space. <laughs> Poor Glenda, don't take it personally, Glenda. Poor Glenda. Yeah, um, but I think we'll try her at the end. Mm. I think once we've done the reveal, then you, then you guys can have a, 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 a taste of our take on uh, mixing, uh, blending some whiskey together in our infinity bottle. Um, so for those of you who have not joined us before, we're going to taste the whiskey. You all should have got a sheet in your pack. It's got new artwork. It's got new artwork on the new sheet. Art. We got one here. I, I don't have a sheet but. Mm. We sent it to Vic, so Vic can okay, Vic, send it. <laughs> Show it up. <laughs> We're going to taste for appearance. It's got proper new artwork. It has got proper new go. artwork. I didn't see that. It's good. We're going to taste for appearance, for uh, nose, palette, finish. We're I just, just let you know that appearance mm. managed to pull over <laughs> from uh, previous uh, editions and it survived it into the cast of explorers so yeah i thought i thought appearance would have been gone by now yeah, no but if the I truth is way... no but the truth is as you can see from tonight there is what to talk about even if it's not much mm. yeah well look well i'm prime minister <laughs> <laughs> you I won't should, lose I what was that it, to the Lib Dems? i should make it illegal to, to taste your whiskey to value your whiskey on its appearance mm. but that's another okay. story so um, when you're the, when you're the prime minister can i be the <laughs> scottish secretary <laughs> okay all right fine that's a good yeah. one good yeah. stuff. Vote, vote shelley <laughs> <laughs> i launched my campaign here live from <laughs> God forbid, it's like the worst thing I think I'd ever do. <laughs> want to try to be prime minister. <laughs> yeah, yeah, under paid, <laughs> massively bullied. <laughs> I wouldn't want that job. Never. I actually, I sent um, one of our um, gift products to Boris Johnson when he had his baby. 
Uh, and I was expecting, you know, some sort of response, but I don't think it actually got through no. because I know um, a colleague of mine sent off um, embroidered clothes, yeah. with, you know, in honor of the baby, and he got a whole official response. So um, it's either he doesn't like scotch or he doesn't like us. Yeah. Or somebody's had it. Yeah, yeah. I think it never got past the first guy. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. But there we go. So anyway... So we're going to give each one a mark out of three. One is, <coughs> two is, it's all right, and three is, yay, this is, this is the one for me. We'll add up the scores. At the end, we'll tell you what the whiskies are, how much they cost. You can all guess what you're drinking as well. That's part of the fun. Mm -hmm. Do join in in the comments because we like to be cool. Sure back do. To a little bit. And we don't just want to hear our voices. No, absolutely not. And I think we should just... Crack on. Crack on. So, so number one. Well, we've poured all of ours already. We have. Yeah, um, let the breeze. From when I've put number one in the glass until yeah. now, it's had a couple of minutes. It's actually opened up a little bit. So mm. I, can, I can get the peat a little bit more. Tiny little bit, not a huge it's amount. A eh? No, it's not, it's not huge. Much, but when I first poured it, I got nothing. And it's got a nice, nice color, nice say. legs. <laughs> I Scrap just... everything I just said. It's got quite a nice colour. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Hi, Sam. Evening, evening. What do we think of the nose of number one? I've got a little bit of sweetness. There's not a, huge, yeah, not a huge amount going on, is there? No, I've got a little mm. sweetness, a little peat, but that's pretty much... A bit toffee, maybe? Mine. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, it's quite toffee full. It's sort of yeah. like it's sort of like a toffee with a little bit of smoke, only a tiny bit of smoke. Yeah, but quite a nice. It feels like a, quite a nice fresh whiskey. Yeah, a little bit like yeah. the the end of a bonfire when it's just going yeah. out and you get that warm glow. Yeah, a little bit of fruitiness as well, not a lot. No, kind of Everything fresh. Like a little bit. It's like the fresh thing, like meadow, mm. grassy meadows. Yeah, a bit fresh. Whiskey review. Is that no. really your name by people? <laughs> I want to see your birth certificate, Mr. Whiskey Review. <laughs> Sweet, but nothing too complex there. Ah, that's good. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, I don't need to say it. It is sweet. It's yeah. a bit fresh. Not. It doesn't feel like there's loads of alcohol in here because there's no burn either. No, no, it's no prickle, is it? No. Very light, sweet, fresh fruit with the tiniest of smoky edges and a green mm. Nigel Thompson. For once, Nigel Thompson, we are in agreement. <laughs> Normally oh, he I... gets it right and I get it wrong. <laughs> uh, there's no right and wrong, is there, Shelley? Yeah? There's no Absolutely. right and wrong. Right, should we go for it? Cheers. Cheers. Slange. Much stronger. There's more peat on the palate, uh, for sure. For me, the the biggest surprise is that I was expecting a really nice mouthfeel from all the legs on the glass, yeah. but it was just very thin. It, it just thin. it went quite like a little bit like water right through. Yeah, it's not a not a huge amount there, is there? Yeah. Bit of a bit of a burn, quite young. Mm. A little bit maybe of. Um, Bitterness at the end. Mm. Are you getting a little bit? Is it okay? It's a, it's a start. It's not unpleasant, but it's not. Um, I was hoping that this was going to be brilliant. <laughs> I was hoping that this was just going to be great. Mm. I have to be honest. All right. Tastes almost as though it had been watered already. Gav says there's a bit of yeah. a soapy note on there for me. Yeah, you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to dilute that down anymore, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah, that's um that's that thinness I was getting. And also after the peat, there's very little in the way of flavours or complexity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like very one dimensional. Yeah, you get your you get your peat. And that's about and it. And a little bit of a burn from alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. Okay. Good All right. Man. Also, you know, um, depending on the price, and that's the biggest thing which I love about this, is that everyone may be surprised and say, you know what, for that, 
I'll take it. Trade. And we we have had some real surprises, haven't we? We, we have quite quite low priced whiskey. Yeah, the biggest and one which just jumps out to me is that Deanston, that Virgin mm-hmm. Oak. Yeah, I think it was what 28, 27, 27, 28. Everyone was just like, "Wow!" That was a great whiskey, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. So, not mm. the most strong of starts mm. this week. Not the strongest of starts. No, it's not terrible either. No, and, and we'll see. I've got no sheet. <laughs> yeah, neither <laughs> I, but. I so, think we'll, we'll see. <laughs> for me, I'm going to say, like, oh, the appearance for me is like, I don't score appearance. It makes no difference. On the nose, it's mm. like quite I pleasant. Think it's a bit better with water. Oh, yeah? Put yeah, somebody's. Water. Let's try. You know what? I'm just going to put in a bit of water just for experiment. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you want more? No. Oh, it's sort of gone more apple with the water. On the nose. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit fruity, isn't it? Yeah. Push a bit more fruity yeah. congeners up. That's really um I feel like I've drowned it and I've put like two <laughs> drops in it, you know what I mean? Oh, and so for me that's made it really quite a pleasant drown. I, mean, I prefer like, it tremendously. I prefer to be that water. For sure with that water. I mean, that makes me water. that makes me feel like I'm drinking just water now. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you put too much. Yeah, Nigel is actually more fruity. I yeah. just, I, I, now he's trying to get brownie points. <laughs> no one is saying that after you've added the water. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just feel like I put two drops and I felt like I drowned it. Okay, so for me, maybe I have less water than you. Mm, that more went, made it very fruity. There's a lot more going on in my and, and, and a lot less peat. Mm. Yeah. That's peat. why, because it diluted the peat, which was so prominent on the first round, mm. and you couldn't really pick up anything else. Yeah, I didn't taste the phenol at all in that. No, there was no, nothing. There was there was nothing, nothing, nothing from, not even without oh, really? with neat as well. Yeah, it just wasn't any there for me. Ah, oh, mm. Sam, look, they're tasting over Zoom. <laughs> keep up, keep up. Yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be complicated after <laughs> number three or four. <laughs> Indeed, right. Okay, interesting, okay. interesting stuff. An interesting, interesting stuff. Start. Something to talk about, and I think a lot will change as we go later on yeah. in the evening. So, I wouldn't finalize your thoughts on it. I'm actually getting more woody tastes now, like after the event. Yeah, bit of, a, bit of a finish. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Pleasant, yeah. but not very exciting. I, I, I absolutely agree. Pleasant, I got no finish, just, just by the way. No, so I didn't really at the time. It sort of developed. But then, as you had a little mm. bit of water, maybe yeah. more, that a bit more. Uh-huh. Yeah, but that's. I would say that yeah. that's a good summary. Yeah, you know, slightly peaty, tiny, tiniest amount of fruit. Yeah, pleasant, but nothing exciting. I agree. No. Yeah. But number good. two smells okay, like a whole different story. Yeah. The color is great. Oh, now we're talking. Mm, right? That is like oh. a bomb. <laughs> very great. You know, you're getting those deep fruit notes. A little bit of alcohol burn Ooh, as well. It's but, yummy. Yeah. It's, it's very um, sweet smelling, like raisins. and mm. Very strong, very strong sherry. Oh, I like that, it, and it's it's got fresh fruit in it as well. It's yeah. almost um, uh, tamdu esque. Is that a word? <laughs> like nice. tamdu. You know, yeah. it's salmon gov- a... Going back to number one, salmon governors didn't get any peat, basically. Yeah, I didn't either. Not the flavour. Yeah. But what do we think of number two, kids? I like the smell of that. Yeah, me too. Mm. See, Alex, you said it's like a sherry bomb. It's not a sherry bomb uh, for me. It's sherry-ish, but but more fruity. It's very fruity, mm. isn't it? As Sweet. in fresh, yeah, not the dried. Yeah. I know I what like you mean. That. A little bit like um, there's apple, like plums. Well, yeah. fresh. I'm notes. picking up like plums, that kind of thing. Like not as deep maybe as a, a Glendronach or, uh, or mm. Glenarchy, but 
it's heavily leaning, I would say, or yeah. towards sherry. Yeah, it's nice. Vanilla. Very tempting. Yeah, let's be tempted. Yes, please. Oh, that's good. That is delicious. That is. That's really hit the mark. Real. That's hit the spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Oh, oh. There's, a, there's little bits of raisins. Tiny mm. bit of coffee there as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get, I the, sher the, get the sherry. Get the sherry casks now, Alex. Mm. For me, I'm getting a little bit hops, a little bit like um, the beer taste at the end. Are you getting a little bit of beer on them? I don't know, barley yeah, maybe. Yeah, no. I'm not, I'm I've got a little bit of that. Then. Maybe that's maybe it's the bitterness of the coffee. Mm. And there's a real finish. There's quite a finish mm. there as well. Mm. I got a hit of spice as well. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Nigel says pears and a little like dry sherry. Chris yeah. We're getting more tropical fruit and cherry notes. Jackson says it's like fruit aromas from warm pies. Nigel oh. agrees with the coffee. Stop agreeing with me, Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't really do this. Whiskey review. At least not with 55, so 60 people. Fruit, tangy. Nigel says it's marzipan. Sam says love the nose on the two. Interesting mm. fruit combo, though. Not sure what. Slight, slight hops, hops on the hops palate. On the palate. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That, I it's think it warm is. Warm and silky. I like that, Sam. It's either the hops or that, that coffee, you know, that mm. bitterness. Mm. But it's definitely, even for me, more mm. beer flavor than coffee flavor. But. A lot going on in there. That's yummy whiskey. That was very good with you. It's a beautiful silky mouthfeel as well, Ooh. isn't it? Oh. The finish is yummy. That is. And then the finish kind of builds. There's, mm. there's a, a, a warmth coming. Well, I'm going to put a little bit of water. I think this can handle it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to try it. Uh, <laughs> it's always a risk, but. I'll have another sip first. <laughs> <laughs> Sam says, yeah, vanilla. Yeah, that's really good. It's woody as well, quite earthy, lovely. I'm not sure I put enough water. In. No, I was going to say, get, I didn't get I'm any not change sure in that. that. There was any change in the water. <laughs> in which case, put water as you'll get more. Lovely mouthfeel. Creamy, almost like Bailey's. Yeah, water's making a different smell. It's much yeah. fruitier. Philip says so much better than number one. Creamy, mm. fruity, and a little bit of mocha. Whiskey review, whoever you are, says you lose some of the complex flavour with water. Yeah. I think I think it was, yeah. it was very solid without the water. Mm. You, I wouldn't generally add the water, but as we're doing a tasting, mm -hmm. I like yeah. to try and see the differences. But if I was drinking that at home, I would just drink it. I have a bottle of that for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> when is your birthday? <laughs> Nigel, listen. <laughs> no, you're not, you're not raising the debate there. <laughs> mm. No, it's actually coming up. Yep. We're really interested to see the price of that one. Mm. Absolutely. Very pleasant. Nigel. Yeah, and also now at the end, just smelling it, I'm getting even just sweeter yum. notes. Mm. Mm. Really sh like sharp berries. Yeah. You know, that really sweet, sweet, and maybe a very small hint mm. of oak. There's also like a. Yeah, a bit of wood there, yeah. A little bit. It's of almost wood. gone into a bit like candy shop. Yeah, it's right? Not, not the same flavor as when you normally say candy no, shop. No. It's just. Like it's the sweetness. It's more for me like you're going into, you know, um, what's it called? Um, where you go to the fruit section. Mm. Yeah, it's but it does. It, it, mm. It's the chocolatey thing. Definitely doesn't need water, though, eh? No. No. Impressive. Oh, this is a long chocolatey finish, but I'm picking mm. up loads of chocolate on the nose now. Soft, sweet nose. Is that me? <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, whiskey review. Uh, do you do you smell like candy floss, Shelley? <laughs> I really go. I did get candy on those with all the water. water in mine, exactly. I didn't get it before. Before yes, I just I'm... got fruit. Now I'm getting it's like proper chocolate candy. Yeah, it takes, it takes of, um, time to yeah, open up. Even a bit of um, like sour apple. 
like sour apple sweets, not sour mm. apples themselves. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, we need to yeah. score that. Yeah. Oh, right. now I'm just sniffing number one again. There's still nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing there, is there? No. <laughs> I can't, I'm getting um, light, lightly <laughs> flavored water. No, I'm actually getting a little bit of bonfire. A little I bit am of actually wood. Wood. It's like a, a, you know, take a bit of wood out of the fire. Yeah. Jeff says familiar spirity character. Vix Tamdu is a good chap. Mm. Vic Deanston, too. Nigel says stewed apple. And whiskey review smells like a sweet shop. Yeah, because it's the lighter sherry. It's not like the deep dark sherries. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And that's yeah, why it's like shop. a tamdu and a dinson is a good track. But I'm picking up something from my glass on number one that I wasn't before, but I can't put my finger on what it is. It's that charred charred wood out of a bonfire. Is that what it is? Well, for me, yeah. It actually smells a little bit better now. Yeah, it smells better. Because also, but when not... you first when we yeah. first put it in the glass, you barely picked up any peat. Yeah. It was only yeah. when you drank it that you got the peat. I'm still not getting that much peat. It's still no. quite sweet. I'm not getting. I'm getting faintest touches of peat. Mm. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's very liquid. <laughs> or, um, Number one. That was a cracking drum, that. Absolutely. Yeah, number two, all the way. I'm excited for number three because I'm interested to see what differences we'll get from the colour and what people expect. See, I love that colour because I know what kind of whiskies I like. Yeah. yeah so you like the bourbon, bourbon cast, cast. Huh? not bourbon, yeah. but bourbon cast. Oh, yeah, yeah don't. No barber. <laughs> no barber. No. Sometimes we send you up a little bit of a curveball, <laughs> put in the free dram, we give you a barber. <laughs> oh, no, Jay, I'm, I'm holding number three now. No, I'm number three. The color, but I haven't tried it yet. And in between, I was drinking water. Yeah, pears, vanilla. Number one, pears, soap. Got... Mm. I'm getting. Ooh. Like Vosine. I've got, do you know what? I've got a smell oh, in my he? head from when I was a kid. My mum used to use Vosine. Oh, uh, yeah, same here. I hated Vosine. <laughs> it's a horrible smell, wasn't it? <laughs> what was it about mums and Vosine? I don't I mean, know. I'm not sure the brand's still in existence. I haven't seen it recently when I went to Tesco. <laughs> it's yeah. it's glass of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't I don't use shampoo now, Shelley. So <laughs> Wow. Right. Number three. Number three is what a colour. See, I love I that's love that colour. That's my water, that's my number three. Did <laughs> you see the Not a huge amount. It's a it's a very palest of pale gold. Ooh, but it smells. Uh, it smells. doesn't smell of water. It does no, not smell of water, not. absolutely not. I'm getting that's nice. Vanilla. Yeah, vanilla, and pears, and apples. Pears, it's, the apples. Pear, it's the pear drops thing for me all mm. the way. And I get the slightest, slightest hint of peat. I'm not as strong now, but tiny. When I first, um, when, I first when I first smelt it, mm. when I first put it in, I got that slight heat, hit of peat. Now, because we've had a peat and maybe some other whiskies, it's harder to get it. Mm. Yeah, I know what you mean, Alex. It's because when I told you when we first smelt it, I was like, you, you know, yeah. you got that peat yeah. on the nose, and now it's just as you said, it's it's a lot sweeter with that vanilla, pear, fresh, crispy orchard sort of. Here hmm. we go. Gov says vanilla and stone fruit for me, peachy apricot. The nose is lovely. Says mm. possibly a hazel burn. Says for me, I good. get on hazel burn though. I get um, more honey, mm. a honey a bit sweeter. Fruit. It's a little bit sweeter for me, Hazel Yeah. That honey, that honeyness. This just smells like yum. It's not like syrup. Mm. Is it stronger in alcohol as well? It's not burning me at all. No, I'm number, getting a little uh, bit. Um, number two, I got more alcohol burn than number mm. I'm, I'm just get, I'm getting the peachy apricot thing. I'm with God. Yeah. The peachy apricot thing and the pear drops. Mm. Lovely. Inviting. Let's go. 
Let's go. It's taking a while to develop. Isn't it? Mm. It's a bit spicy on the tongue. I wasn't expecting that. It is a bit spicy on the tongue. The finish is lovely, though. The finish is it's, nice it's and warm. It's developing warm slowly. Mm hmm. I'm not, going to, I'm not going to get as much sweetness no. as on the nose. It's a little bit more of that bitter notes, which we had no. uh, the last one. On the end. It's coffee, coffee, coffee for me. Mm. I'm and that's the bitter which I'm getting, which mm. for me is a little bit mm. more beer hot. Oh, but I wasn't ex wasn't expecting that. It's a much more savoury. <laughs> it's a it's, it's savoury. On the nose, yeah. I would have said it's more dessert, yeah. but it's very savoury. It's nice, and, and I'm still getting the finish, that warming finish, mm. which I haven't had the last two. This is the longest finish. Yes, definitely, the, the, the longest tries. finish, for sure. And there you go, with, with your coffee, yes, ground coffee. Beer. Yeah. And also lots of spice. And I feel beer. also, if we added water to this, it will make it sweeter. Mm. Let's try. I'm having difficulty describing that, but I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> mm. It's... There's, it's it's, it's nice. that savoury feel yeah. which you don't always mm. get with a, a deep Stop. sherry. I think it's kind of a bit meaty. And it's and kind like, of thick, thick and bold. Mm. Yeah. And it's completely it's completely different from a sherry finish. Yeah. Which is it's it's really interesting to to try that right in the middle. That's quite an unusual whiskey that. Yeah, I'm getting now. I'm still got that finish. It's not now warming. It's just the bitterness that ends. Yeah, like at the end of a cigar. Yeah, when you finish smoking, but you still got that smoke. Not smoke, but that tobacco. Mm. Maybe Jackson. Maybe Jackson, Let's you can it. help me out. Nigel with that. says nutmeg. Jackson says. Mm. Caramel on the palate before a coffee finish. Garth is guessing Glen Cadam 10. John Parkinson says almost an umami flavor to the finish. Yes, that's actually yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cinnamon says Nigel Thompson and got a hint of citrus there from Sam Button. I didn't pick up any citrus. No, I I'm, I'm any really sweet things at all. I literally got mm, wood nope. and coffee and, and that savory and a bit like a meaty kind of feel in my mouth that bitterness. Mm. Which is nice if you like if you like drinking coffee, you like that bitterness, mm. and that's really interesting. That's that's nice with a tiny bit of water. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit sweeter, a bit more fruity. <laughs> I'm really I'm really struggling with this whiskey. Not struggling as in I don't like it. Struggling but to define it, you mean? Yeah, and it's it's yeah. so unusual. It's uh, yeah. it's so light, but quite thick, and like you say, meaty. Yeah. Nigel no, says, reminds me of the top of mum's rice pudding. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of apple with water. Mmm. That is good, though. Mmm. And I like, I like that hidden element of that spice, because no mm. one was anticipating no. spice. When you drank it, you just got a flare-up of spice, and then it just quickly, like, no. abates into that warmness. That's how it finishes. I haven't drunk. You know, I haven't drunk a whiskey like this in a very long time. I feel like no. I feel like it's a bit of a drama of Willy Wonka. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm really you know, good. Like, yeah, you know, like you get these like sweets that sort of change flavour as you put them in your mouth and suck them, and like each layer. The gobstopper. The gobstopper, and it was like all different like uh, courses of a meal. Mm. I wouldn't actually mind having the wallpaper <laughs> of uh, you know the sweet wallpaper when you went through this factory. Mm. Yeah. Sam says citrus on the nose, surprisingly strong for me now. Actually, Thank going you, more to Applewood. And Sam says yes to William. <laughs> <laughs> and Alex will do the Oompa Loompa dance. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, but <laughs> Oompa Loompa. <laughs> oh. Does any, anyone else get an almost, not a rubbery, but kind of sulfury note? Just right, right on the end, it's um, quite thick and. I, I can't put my finger on that. It's um, it's confusing me that one, but it's nice. Which is I like good. It. Which is exactly what you want from a tasting. You want to have that mm. interesting whiskey, which everyone is struggling to understand. Yeah. 
I was going to have a sip of water, but I'm just going to let it sit for a while. Yeah, yeah, because the coffee kind of and the wood develops. Mm. Yeah, I could go for that. Yeah, me too. I'll have a bottle of that. As well. <laughs> remember <laughs> a bottle, me. A bottle of everything. Me. Remember me. I'm <laughs> on the other side of the office. No, that was that was very interesting. Oh, I just gone back to sniff number two. It's like completely like. I'm now immersed oh, yeah. in the sweet shop. Chris, no, I noted rubber on this one. Mm, I'm getting a lot more wood on number two. What always happens to me, the longer it sits in the glass, the more wood comes out. Is that someone else getting a little bit of rubber on the finish yeah. there, is it? And number yeah. one, I can't even really smell it too Faintest of faintest. Mm. Interest, three interesting drums, though. Hmm. Always nice. I have to say, I've been looking at the color on number four. I'm going to enjoy that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Okay. Smells great as well. Should we go number four? Okay, if you insist. Oh, oh. Oh boy, there's your sherry bomb, Alex. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, it's a different sort of smell. It's a it's a more intense smell than number two. It's very woody pencil shavings. It's it's almost um like a a, a thin mortlach. You mm. know, it's not that full meaty mortlach aroma, but it's something definitely similar similar there. Sort of pencil shavings and wet fire crackers. How to guy folks? <laughs> <laughs> Massive oh shirt. boy! Really yeah, <sighs> that's really yeah, good. Massive, yeah, and just getting those fruit notes. Yeah, I'm mm. getting. I, I'm getting that little bit of that pencil shavings. That's what I was mm. struggling to define before when we were talking. Maybe that's what oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. save a pencil yes, yes yeah yeah you know you're not going to be able to describe that any longer because pencils are going to go out oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> this cause is not going to be any pencil but... yeah, yeah when you see it smells like the inside of a pencil case no one will have a clue what you're talking about uh -huh. yeah no but that now i get now that he mentions um pencil shavings yeah, yeah. i completely understand that smell now mm. You were the kid that stood in the corner sharpening a pencil <laughs> to waste time, <laughs> weren't you? Absolutely not. <laughs> you're so familiar. <laughs> then we had um, the the electric uh, the electric um, pencil oh, sharpeners. Oh, you went to a posh school. So really. <laughs> posh schools. Posh. Um, Sam says for very slightly pink. It is very slightly pink. I agree. Uh, yeah, a little bit it's of a colour there. Isn't I it? would say it's more like deep golden amber. It's the very deep yeah, golden colour. There is kind of like a tinge of it somewhere. It's not really, but it's it's it's, it's, the, it's because it's so deep yeah, maybe. in colour mm -hmm. that like, you know it bounces off the light a little bit. Yeah, Gov says he thinks that's a Glendronach. He knows. I know where he's. I know where he's coming yeah. from with that. Yeah, yeah. toffee apple and wood. Yeah, no, the, it reminds like this one reminds me of a Glendronach twenty one, mm. more than the eighteen. I get the twenty one in there. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. More sweetness coming through for whiskey review. How you're a poet and you didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> now the pencil oh. shavings have gone. It's more the sweetness comes back. Yeah, it is. It's fruity. It's vanilla. That's delicious on the nose it's like it's wet leaves for me mm, all right mm. okay but so i think whenever anyone says pencil shavings i think right. like wet leaves mm. now, this is the first one which i clearly got that pencil yeah. shavings um yeah i think that's just so i get a wonderful hit of fresh apple every now and again it's just gorgeous yeah the, the Here we go. 21 is much yeah. much darker than this color all the Glendronachs, maybe except for the 12. I think the 15 would be even more dark than this. More like Glenda. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, yum. oh, yummy. It's 
that's that, uh, that's just oak all the way for me. Mm, it's the oak that, that stands oak out the most for me. And spice yeah. and and sweetness all in one go. Yeah, Subtle, but the, the yeah the woods there, but it's not overpowering. No, mm. absolutely. And it's, it's golden syrup, really fruity at the end. Mm. Oh, that is, and that's very well balanced. And it's and it's age. It's it seems like you know it's got a depth of flavour which we haven't had yet this evening. Mm. Agree. Yum. That's a really yum. Mm. Yum. Whiskey. Can I have some water? I'm gonna try. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say can I have some more, and I'm like <laughs> looking at my glass. <laughs> oh, that's quality. Very nice. Very complex. Lovely. Agreed. Okay. It's I don't got depth. It's got I a think, depth to it, hasn't it? Yeah, and that and that's really, really it's nice. It's even sweeter with water. I'm not even sure I want to put water <laughs> in here. <laughs> no, I don't want to try water. I don't want to risk it. That's just gorgeous. Mm. Well, you, you know me. I'm not a huge, huge fan of really sherry whiskies, mm. but that's just right. Yeah, that's it's what I was going right, to say. right not, amount of wood. It's not yeah. overpoweringly sherry. I had, um, Friday night, I had the uh, Edredara... 10 year old straight from the cask mm. and that is nearly the most sherry whiskey i've had mm. and that is just like intense wood and and notes and this is much more rounded i would say more yeah. balanced more well this is letting the well, distillery yeah, character yeah. come through as well you know there's 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 flavors from the the process there that's yeah. coming through and it's not just a hit of sherry oak it's not just the no. wood that it's also quite, like, it's quite like drying on the mouth. Mm. Do you know what I mean? The sherry. That's mm. the sherry. Yeah. Yeah, I know what I mean. It's yeah, like, I think that's. I, I, um, I didn't. I didn't get that until you mentioned. Oh, really? it. And now, I, and now I just realised I was like, <laughs> yeah. just like my mouth was completely yeah, yeah, dry. Yeah, yeah, it's great though. It's really nice. It's very yeah, enjoyable. in a very pleasant way. I think there's um, you know, talking about the sherry casks. Number four is more European oak for me, and mm. number two was a bit more American oak. I think, mm. but I'm not certain. But that is, yeah, and and very nice. That's very what we're going to reasonably finish. That and that's what we're going to find out from um, Jackson's cast. The cast yeah. stories uh, yeah. is that exact thing. What oh. we're going to look at yeah. is those different finishes and casts and how that affects mm -hmm. on the flavour. And and I think you've got that spot on. You know, you're getting different sherry flavours and that and how that wood interacts with the whiskey. Yeah. Right. So Sam wants to know, dear Victor, <laughs> where does the drying astringency come from? That comes from um, compounds called tannins that are in the oak, mm -hmm. and um, more tannins predominantly in European oak than in American oak. Yeah. So you get that kind of dryness uh, from the tannins. Yeah. Cheers. Why in European oak? Yeah. And that's but, why that's why it's a lot more, you know, woody heaviness yeah. mm. to it. And I, would on, I would suggest that, yeah. On the nose now, yeah. I'm getting less paint pencil shavings, more sherry oak. <sighs> yeah. And that's and that's a really nice yeah. nose now. Whiskey review says finish is still going strong. Gov says, I don't think it's a Glendron up on the palette. Bloody blind tasting, mm -hmm. it's so difficult. It no. is so Perfect. difficult. Thanks, Rehero Oak. There we go. Mm. That was that was Nigel, good. definitely not a friend runner. Really interesting things we have yes, to try tonight. Indeed. And we've got to explore different show <laughs> finishes. We've got to, and also we've got to go with the orders. The favorite part. We're just having a wee little sniff. Well, so good drums tonight, lots, guys. That was great. Still lots of pairs for me on number three. Mm. And number two is just getting sweeter and sweeter the longer it sits. I'm getting, month. I'm getting mm. more <laughs> vanilla. I'm getting a huge hit of vanilla on number three. Really sweet, sweet mm. vanilla. Really nice. I'm, I'm just, got, I've just got a row of empty glasses now. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Lee says four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. It's mm. probably my order. As I well, think actually. I think the two I think four will get most people's yeah. top. I think the difference mm. will be with two Between and three two is three. if you like that savory note yeah. of number three and mm -hmm. the interesting character. And for me, yeah, I found that really, really interesting. 
more so than number two. Yeah. So I would do four, three, two, one. It's very symmetrical of you. I know. That's, <laughs> uh, that, that's the first time you've been correct, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> four, three, two, one. Absolutely. <laughs> Whiskey Review says two, four, three, one. John Parkinson says four, three, two, one. Same as Alex. Gov says one's nose is public. You're on yellow cake for me. Nice. <laughs> Not the best tasty out of Britain. Can I use that on my website, please? <laughs> yeah, I think we need to get another one. Whiskey smells like it. Maybe not. No. Uh, two, four, three, one from Philip. Poor little number one. It's yeah, it, but you know uh, what? It, it wasn't a bad whiskey. It has, hmm. I know, I know. And I think, well, I think when I, I reveal think what the value yeah. or the price of that, I, I don't think you'll overtake any of the other whiskeys, but everyone will be like, actually, not terrible. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Sam says 4321. Jane says 4231. I'm with Jane. Jackson says 3421 for me, and his mum says 4231. Mm. Well done, Jackson's mum. You got it right. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it, it provoked thought and i and i for me the most interesting even more than number three yeah was the clear differences that you're getting from the different wood finishes in yeah. number two and number four there you go richard four two three one you also got it right Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> you're the winner nothing much between two <laughs> three and four from nigel no fair enough there was that depth of number yeah. four, which for me just yeah, it was just that little, that little bit. I think we're probably going to see a little bit yeah. extra age, a little bit extra quality. Yeah, yeah. So um, four, three, two, one. Sam says two, four, three, one. Mum says thanks, Shelley. You're very <laughs> welcome, Mum. All right. So should we? Um, yes. Put uh, any guesses on number know? one. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure guess. some people here tonight yeah. would have had it. Yeah, I personally had never tried it before. No, me neither. But nope. that's why I was all very keen to try it. <laughs> I was very keen on number two. What and do we think to number one? Well. Ardmore. <clears throat> <laughs> We've got a new buzzer system in place. <laughs> are you just going to do that for all their mistakes? Are you, Shelley? I. <laughs> Uh, who else wants to guess what number one is? What about the price, guys? Yeah. Have a guess what sort of price point it's at. Yeah, mm. who would buy number one for 15 quid? Oh, yeah. Mm. Would you buy number one for 15 quid? Would you buy it for 25 quid? Probably. Number one for 25 quid? Interesting. I probably would actually for twenty five quid. I don't know for twenty five quid because for twenty five quid I can add That's an extra good. fiver and get yeah. a thirty pound whiskey. Yeah. But for twenty quid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's no fool. There's no fool in you, is there, Alex? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because to thirty nine. It's not. It's not a, a thirty. It's not a thirty pound whiskey for me. But yeah. For twenty pound, I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, for 20 quid, you just put another tenner in and buy a 30 pound bottle, Alex. Yeah, yeah. yeah but ten is already a third of the bottle. <laughs> Jane would not buy number one. Not even for would 15 pounds. If you add two, you can get yeah. two. <laughs> no, I, okay, I, people. I, okay, people. I think I, I, w I would, depending on the cost, to be honest. If I'm going to have five beans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said I went to a fancy school. Steve <laughs> Marcus would. There we go. He would. Ladies and gentlemen. So this one's interesting. I'm proud to reveal. Because it didn't have a box, and it's only recently have received a box. Oh. It's the famous grouse, Smoky Black. 40% mm. um, ABV. That's why we didn't get um, that huge hit. Yeah. Um, it's not age statement, but it's £18.50. Yeah. £18.50. So £18.50. £18.50. You've got to think about it. Like, you see, personally, because I am a whiskey snob, I've never tried famous grouse. <laughs> yeah. And I've never tried, so I've certainly never tried smoky black. No. I want so, to try the ruby one as well. They yeah, had the, the ruby, ruby one grass. seems interesting. But I'm not desperate to try it. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I'd be happy to get number one as a pub jam. It's true. If I was in a pub and they had that, I'd probably go for it. Over a bells or a teacher or yeah, some yeah. other something thing. on that level. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. 
for that yeah, level, for that let's say the supermarket yeah. whiskey, but my, 18 pound. Yeah. Yeah, but my hope was this evening that, that you found an 18 pound whiskey which found, was worth uh, yeah, like 40 in your brain. I was hoping that we were doing it blind mm -hmm. and it was actually going to knock all our socks off, and then we were going to go, Yes, people, we've all just <laughs> we've, saved a ton of money, <laughs> let's all buy famous grouse smoky. No, they're not all so stupid. <laughs> mm. I don't, it's not to do with stupid, it's to do with it's no, because if you suddenly became so popular, yeah, then just, yeah. I agree, except that the the thing is with these things is they're not allowed to become popular because it has like uh, a stigma. It's, it's stigma against it. So nobody tries it and evaluates it. Mm. So that the hope was that we would find a gem. Maybe but that, and, and like I said, um, <laughs> eighteen pound fifty though. Yeah, I would be happy to yeah. if yeah. I want if I was going out and I needed to bring a dinner gift. If I, I, if I didn't like <laughs> them, <laughs> no, if I didn't like them. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not on a roll here. Okay, let's move on to number two. <laughs> yes, I think you should. Uh, it's a pub dram. Yeah, I agree. Pub, pub, yeah. pub. Mm. Fair enough. But we tried. But it also it was the smoky one. It wasn't the regular. Mm. Yeah, it's not the regular one. But interesting. I'm glad I've tried it. Tick on my list. I'm not missing out by being a whiskey stump. Yeah. No. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. <laughs> Scott says if you buy him that, you won't get in. <laughs> <laughs> Jane says I'd rather get a founder's reserve for 22 quid. Yeah, true. Cool. But what other cheaper end smoky or peaty whiskies are there? I love Sky. I love Sky. Competition at Six the Isle. I love Sky. Is Six Isle. Six Isle for sure is, is, yeah. is peated and, and that was very good. Yeah. I've tried that. And the Isle of Sky is also pretty cheap. I don't know if it's as cheap, but yeah. Okay. I'd rather pay the extra and get a black label. Yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, fair. Okay, all right. Let's move on. I don't think any of us are buying that, so mm. let's go number two. Any any ideas? I feel I feel most people would have had not maybe this one, but one of their range yeah. ones. Mm. That was a good whiskey number two. Yeah, whiskey review says well, Gus going back to number one wasn't really even smoky. And Nigel says once again, Victor is right. Do we have to keep saying Victor is right? <laughs> I thought I won't come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Victor is right. <laughs> All right. Okay, we, number um, two. Barry Brothers and Ralph. Ralph thinks William Trinder. Yeah, the Barry, the Barry Brothers and Ralph was a stronger sherry taste for me. Yeah. Yeah, we've, we had one of those, didn't we? Yeah, sherry. We, did. we, we had, had sherry, um, and that was the, the blended malt. The, the sherry one, yeah. Sherry the, mm. the berry. Yeah. Glen Fiddick says, Megan, not a bad guess. Wrong, but not a bad guess. <laughs> <laughs> down gently there. Yeah. <laughs> Should I um, let them know? Yeah, go for it. So this one, I've only ever had the Scallywag normal. This one is actually Scallywag 10. Um, it comes at 46%. It's a blended malt whiskey, right? So, no one actually picked up, which just goes to show no one actually picked up the difference in flavor if there is any. Well, there which, isn't exactly, the but if you look at the values and the taste and, and, and the snobbery behind it, people think, Oh, it's blended malt, it's not really scotch or single malt scotch, but in taste wise, you yeah. can't tell. And that one comes in at 42.99. Mm. And it's 100% uh, sherry cask matured. There we go. Um, and for me, I, I love the bottles of, of these ones. So that was, four, what did you say, 42 99 Yeah, 42 And that came number one for quite a lot of people tonight. Yeah. yeah. Scott thinks it tastes like a cheaper version of Glen Morandy. But we'll forgive you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 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 like I, design, I like the design. Do it's cool. Fine. So it's it's bottled by um, Douglas Lang. Do we have a guess as to what they've got? So much stuff. I was gonna say, can we guess what it's hard distillery it was? If we you know just look at what side. they have, right. they've got uh, hundreds of different options. Yeah, mm. it's true, and it's a blend of many of them. So we don't know no. other than that they're all space side distilleries, and it's completely done in the sherry cast. I'd say yeah. all all space side. It said. Yeah, because the Scallywag is their space side brand. Yeah, so they have Big P, Epicurean, yeah. um, Rock Island, and so they've split it all up. They've split it up. Yeah. 
Not Which one's that? Uh, Timber Species Highland. Timber Species Highland. Oh, yeah, that's and right. Then they, yeah, then they've got Rock Island. They've got Just, the Gauldrons. And yeah, Epicurean. Town, and Epicurean. But um, Nigel says he wouldn't normally buy a blended, but don't forget, Nigel, it's a blended malt, not a blended scotch. So there's no and, it is, in it. and it is an age statement. And it's it's age old. and it's yeah. um, showy. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, it's like 10 year old sherry space side. Yeah. You can't go wrong. I would have you thought. Can you can he. Can he go wrong? Can he? I wonder if there's some Tam do in there. I don't know. Very possibly. I've never seen them offer Tam do. Oh, no, that's wrong. Scrap that. They do yeah, offer they it. do have they that do Tam do. They have so much stock. Yeah, because there are certain brands which never sell their stock. So if you. Yeah. But, um, who was I speaking to the other day that they started off, they got McCallum. And they weren't allowed to call it McCallan. They oh, called yeah. it something else, but I forgot what it was. Covenants, not Covenants. Um, it'll come back to me. But, there are a, there are a few companies that do that. Though will will yeah. sell you single malt, but you can't. You can't call it the, it you have to just call it the name. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they teaspoon it, don't they? Mm. So that, that you can't. But it's very. Yeah. It was very nice. I liked yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Jackson's confirming it's a blend of single casks from single distilleries at 100 percent cherry. Yeah. Salt. I'm not sure anyone will have had um, this one. Number three. Whiskey reviews is a bit expensive here for blended 35 pounds, maybe. Shame as it was lovely. See, I think that's interesting that you think that it's it that because it's blended, it's something that you wouldn't go for because like the scientific mm. makeup of a blended whiskey is exactly the same as a single malt whiskey. It's just that instead of them blending together single malts from one distillery, they blend together single malts from more than one distillery. Mm. So if it's a if it's a blended malt, yes. Which is what it is. It's a blended malt. It's not a blended uh -huh. scotch, it's a blended malt. So there's no yeah. grain whiskey in it. So the scientific yeah. makeup of it is exactly the same as a single malt. Mm. Now when in historically when we had a whiskey tariff sending stuff to america which thankfully this week we no longer have um well, at least you years. could send blended scotch without any tariff which doesn't make any sense because it's the same mm. thing it's just you can have a teaspoon of scotch you can have a teaspoon of whiskey from one distillery put it in a cask from another distillery it's now a blended scotch and now it doesn't isn't subject to the same taxes yeah, yeah. or the same rules even so yeah. I don't know the whole thing with the blended scotch. There's a very di big difference between a blended malt whiskey and a blended Scotch whiskey. Yeah, and I know this because I went to a rather good course once a long time ago with <laughs> my good friend Vic. <laughs> I heard you. I heard you had a good teacher, Shelley. I did. <laughs> I did. It was very good. The best. Great. <laughs> Started doing them again last week. I first saw. time. First time in 10 months I had to stand up and work for two days. I was ab absolutely <laughs> knackered. Good fun, though. Oh, well. Yeah. You'll never have a cohort as good as my cohort, so. Absolutely not. Never yeah. never again. A one never off. Again. It will just never happen. So. There we go. Um, no Hazel Burn on number three and no Pendone. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, whiskey Review has revealed that it's his whiskey snobbery coming out. <laughs> Well, he's been honest. My name is Whiskey, apart from about his name. My name is Whiskey Review, and I'm a whiskey snob. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping to get booked into the EWA in the future, says Gov Lewis. It's excellent. Yeah, it'd be good to see you, Gov. Come along. Very recommended. So they make you Photoshop your own picture into them. <laughs> no, we've we, we got everybody in this week, Shelley. I wonder. I wonder what <laughs> got more likes. It wasn't the latest about the England Scotland game, <laughs> or you uh, posting yourself on. No, that. I went viral with that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But this, I was on the your last post Reddit. on Friday also yeah, went pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Genius that was, Shelley. Genius. They were all very impressed that I knew about my four four two formation. <laughs> <laughs> They weren't happy that you left that a couple of English. No, ones I did out. leave a few English ones out. But I just I was the last minute. I was like, oh that's a good idea. I'll just <laughs> throw that together. So number three yes. is also um Douglas Lang, but it's their provenance range. And that is the Craig Alifi 10 year old. So um really interesting. Bottled in August of 2019. Yeah. Four four to six percent ABV. And Alex almost said it correctly. It's Craigelicky. 
Kregelki. 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 Nigel and I finally agree completely, which is he said I'm far more entertaining than the football. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants you to send him a free <laughs> bottle. <laughs> finally, someone on here who agrees with me. Um, and that comes in at 45 games. And that is a single mole. No. 45. What was the strength of it, Alex? Uh, 46%. Yeah. And, today, and, it, and and the, and the notes here, the tasting notes are exactly what we all got, oh, really? which is quite cool. What do they say? I you've got the multi characters. You've got the mocha. You know, you've got the barley. The you know the sweetness, a little bit of spice. Did they say what kind of cask it was in, or just? I didn't. Oh, that was a re. That would, that would it was definitely a refill hogshead or re, refill bourbon cask or. Right. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, you can see by the color. So there we go. Whiskey review, not bad price for what you get. And it's it's quite a it's quite an interesting um, process at Craig Ellicky because they have worm tubs. Oh yeah. So I think that's where the sort of thickness and the boldness came from. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and the and like, um, worm tubs how, it changes the whiskey how. Um, it um, it doesn't it's more strip copper, out. right? Yeah, no, it's le no. less cop less oh, copper less contact. Copper. Yeah, and right. it doesn't it doesn't strip out the sulfury meaty notes as much as a shell and tube condenser. Right, but but the also the interesting thing about Craigellachie is they used to get their malt from Rosile Maltings with a phenol level of about a one point five ppm, so a tiny tiny uh, amount of peat in the malt as well. Uh, yeah. Now I'm not not certain I went into that one, but it it definitely used to get that yeah. type of malt when I was a manager down at Rosile. So yeah, and as I said, yeah. I just got offered the fifty year old, and the colour on that looks great. So it may yeah. be if I if I <laughs> or if you feel nice, <laughs> we may be able to crack that one open. <laughs> Dream on, dream on, baby. Dream yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little bit of uh, repeated notes on that. <laughs> So that was a fascinating whiskey, that one. Yeah. Very, yeah. very, very interesting. interesting. Yeah. And definitely I would have it just for the fact that, you know, one of the problems with working in the whiskey industry is that whenever you have guests round to your house for a meal and you open the whiskey cabinet, you can't have something regular. No. You have to wow them yes. with your <laughs> bar and the amount of whiskeys you have. And yeah. it doesn't matter, you know, you just need to come out with that amazing, interesting whiskey that they never had. Yeah, and I think that one would hit the yeah, hit the, uh, the nail on the head. Yeah, it's got Very a different. With a nice, more nice finish, peppery. Mm. Really um, actually. I reckon most people would have had them before. Should we just? Yeah, I think so. Well, let's to guess what number four was. Four was probably the the, the overall most popular whiskey. In yeah. The mm. But that may change if, depending on the prices. Yeah. But just in terms of people's lineup, mm. I mean, they were all, they I would say they all ranked quite closely together. Oh, well, like two, three two to four. four. Yeah. Four is delightful, so it's got more complex than the last three. Maybe Glen Farkas, at least a 16 or 18, I think. You, I think you might be onto something mm. with your at least 16 or 18 mm. comment. Any other guesses? It's also nice when you're, four? when you're drinking the four. Yeah, and you can tell one has sat in a, a cast yeah. for, for longer, and it's achieved more depth and more flavour, and that is something which sometimes you feel like, oh, they they're hyping it up. This was twenty five years, that was thirty years, and it made makes it change. Yeah, but you definitely know, you know, the non age statement, the ten, the fifteen, and the eighteen. There are real differences in that. Once you pass. 21, 25, 30, you're not sure that those are the differences in the result or more is it just in the price. Mm -hmm. Sam says four smells lovely now, full toffee oak. does. Yeah. It smells lovely before, but I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. Pecan. Pecan, pecan, and, yeah. Mm. pecan pie. Yeah. Mm. Mm, lovely. That's good. I Any shall... Um, oh, yes, yes. Something fresh to not for. Could be Glengoyne. Not bad, not I bad. I love the little emoji. Glengoyne is, I think, a little That's bit more. That's the thoughtful emoji. Yeah, no, Glengoyne's a little bit more showy, I think. Should we... Um... Agree with the maple syrup. All right, number four is the Tomatin. 
18 Ooh. and that's mm. finished in the oloroso sherry cast and that's what the differences were between that and number two um it comes mm. in at 46 percent um abv and it is on oh for good guess nigel <laughs> 82.99. Well done, Nigel. 83 quid. 83 pound. Not bad. Not bad price for an 18. It's not a bad A lot of 18s are already creeping to yeah. around 105 yeah, yeah. pound mark. Yeah, true. Um, so for 82 pound, mm -hmm. you know, that's really good value. Here we go. Scott's just going to you. <laughs> ben Goyne is also on a rust now. Sorry. Well done, Scott. Well done, Scott. <laughs> what do you do for a job, Scott? Are you one <laughs> Oh. <laughs> um in in terms of I was talking about also the colour, etc. Et yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, okay, I won't yeah. defend myself. <laughs> what I will say though is it's interesting though because Tomatin used to be the biggest. They were at one point yes, the were. largest distillery. Uh -huh. um, yeah. and now it's just kind of not the same. So when you bring out a tomatin and you show them what it is, not everyone would have necessarily had a tomatin. Yeah. So it's always nice to, again, put on the bar and show people interesting stuff. There we go. It's, got, it's gathered some fans. Jane loves the 14 tomato. They might have to treat themselves to an 18. Mm. Sam's going to save up. And I'm a big fan of uh, the car strength tomato. Yes. And I'm not generally a car strength no. fan. So but, uh, Richard wants to know what's the ABV mm. on this. Uh, that one is 46%. Mm. It's a very solid dram. Yeah, yeah. And you're, I think you're right for eighty-five pounds. No, eighty-three. Eighty-three pounds. There's not loads in that category. But no, that price. You're is. you're on the top end of fifteen. Yeah. And um, the very low end of eighteen. Yeah. Because if you're thinking about it, the Glengoyne eighteen, the mm -hmm. McCallan eighteens, uh, all the other eighteens, the Glenjonach eighteens, yeah. Glenallachie eighteen. All, and particularly those in cherry cask. Yeah, they're more, they're more, they're more, they're about five, ten, yeah. ten pounds more. Yeah. Yeah. Which, as you guys know, makes a difference. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> yeah, it does. There we go. Let's save that fiver, Alex. Yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> Every <Yeah>. little ounce. <laughs> Nigel would have guessed 12 years, so not quite that good. Oh, Nigel. 12, 12 tomato or just 12 in general? I think a 12 year old. Yeah. Which is like, love the lineup. Oh, oh we think, haven't finished. We I have think to. We should all just try our little. We have Glenda. to try Glenda. So what I wanted to do was I was just going to hang on a little from here. She made a move, Glenda. No, I won't be Glenda. Okay, guys, it's great. It's great. <laughs> I'm going. Okay, don't worry. Here's Thanks, guys. <laughs> there we go. There's Glenda. Glenda is our infinity bottle. She's quite uh, looking quite thirsty actually now. Because um. Here we go. Um. She um, well, she fed everybody. She got bled. <laughs> she did. Back in the <laughs> turn of the nineteenth century, you would bleed people. <laughs> yes. Indeed. So what we did was we included a little freebie taster of where we're up to with Glenda at the moment. Are you? Is this Glenda? No. No, I didn't call Glenda yet. There we go. So um, that's where we're up to. We'd love I to like the label your, um, on this one as well. Oh, yeah. Bottles and all the rest. Yes. Very nice. So this is our new little project. I think. Um, oh, you got, you got a Lafroig in there. Yes. Yeah. You got. So the last thing to get added in there was actually Tomatin fourteen-year-old. Um, there is some Lafroig fifteen-year-old in there. Oh yeah, you can get Lef you can get Lafroig straight away. <laughs> now, you're getting a lot of heat on that nose. <laughs> That's interesting, though. You get the you get the the, the, the phenol from the Lafroy, and then it just goes. Yeah, it doesn't stick around. But then you're getting lots I'm of getting very water. similar that Ooh. that bitterness, that coffee bitterness. Oh, it's got loads of coffee on it. Yeah. And wood on the end. Oh, I quite like that. <laughs> Glenda has smoke. Glenda's smoking some Vicks white taste. So, and so we thought that we'd share this momentous occasion. Cajun with you because we're going to add to Glenda. We've got here some Spayburn 15 year old, which we're going to um, feed to our little Glenda. Are you putting it all in? Uh, yes, oh, yeah. half, it's a half a bottle that was left. She's better than my Infinity Dram. 
<laughs> cost the flavour. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say mine's mine's not very big. I'll need to get a bigger uh, jar. Yeah, well, no, we, we went the whole hog. See, the thing is, from we have pressure. Everybody comes in our office, and then they want to. What can we try? What can we try? So, we've gone for the infinity. Hmm. I think. Oh, there you go. Jackson said he put some octobor in. <laughs> Put some more tomorrow as well. Flipping it. <laughs> Jane thinks it's a waste of the tomatin fourteen. Yeah, I've, I've still got some tomatin fourteen left. I don't. Think, I I wouldn't pour that mm. in a. Yeah. We've got another bottle open. I think that was that was the part of the uh, thing. But now we just got to decide what's going to go left. I think we should stay off the peat mm. and try that and bring it to. round to a bit of a more mellowed, more serried. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Get some, get some nice bourbon-y casks in. Not bourbon, Not but bourbon, <laughs> bourbon <Yeah>. casks. <laughs> I think to your dismay, I think we did put a bourbon in there as well, didn't we? Yeah. Don't tell him. Did was, you? I don't like it. Gender don't like it now. <laughs> he left it. He threw it down like Richard Bandit. <laughs> we threw were, it behind you. <laughs> we were thinking that we might get Glenda her own Instagram page. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be blogging. Yeah. <laughs> what's gone in? What's gone out? Yeah, it does look quite dark, doesn't it? It does look that... very dark. But I don't know if that's just the light. Right. Because in the glass, I might. I mean, I just added the spay burn, which had some colour on it, but it doesn't look as dark as mm. when it's in the glass. But yeah, no, that was yeah. a great lineup. Lots of fun. Was. Yeah, a lot, that was a good, lot guys. of interesting uh, differences. Yeah. Exciting. Indeed. So, there we go. That's it for another month. Hmm. Now, as it's all on subscription, we don't Indeed. need to say get your pack because yeah. you will you, get your you pack. You will get your pack, <laughs> absolutely. It is coming. <laughs> uh, the next one will be, so basically, so now that we have, this, we did this um, like for Father's Day so that we would just be able to include people that wanted to do yeah. something for Father's Day. Um, but moving forward, there will be the last Sunday of the month, 8 p.m., You'll get your packs in the post like the week before. Um, and also we are launching some packs which will be, you can dive into them if you want to and not if you don't want to, there's no pressure, um, but they will be um, only for <laughs> Cask Explorer subscribers and they're basically, they will be focusing on a particular theme. So the first one that we've got is um, all port cask whiskies and the sort of the comparison and stuff. So that's going to we'll be, be doing, quite, yeah. quite yeah. interesting because yeah. as we saw tonight with the two different shows, there's a lot to learn yes. um, and how much... And it's cool because that's the journey which a master blender normally does. Yeah, so absolutely. it's exciting. Yeah. I'm looking forward. Yeah. So cask explorers. Jackson, no bring pressure. Your, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bring your magnifying glasses and your <laughs> whatever else you need for exploring. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cheers, guys. Thanks for joining us. Have a lovely week ahead. Enjoy, enjoy the weather. If anyone takes if a break, not, enjoy that. See you guys. Well. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. See ya. Bye. Bye. See ya.